Let's talk health. In Enugu State, the Ministry of Health has confirmed the outbreak of cholera in the state with 10 casualties so far from the disease. The Director of Medical Services, Enugu State Ministry of Health, Sam Eligwong, who spoke, says steps are taken to contain the scourge. The state, however, places high alert on patients with symptoms such as severe diarrhea, abdominal cramps, and vomiting. It admonishes the people to enhance infection prevention and control IPC measures in their facilities and report cases promptly. The State Ministry of Health announced that it has initiated containment strategies in line with guidelines from the Nigerian Center for Disease Control. The State Commissioner for Health, Emmanuel Lobi, outlines the importance of preventive actions, including proper hand washing, using of clean water, and practicing safe food handling. Well, let's talk some more about this. Joining us is founder, Love for Health organization, Dr. Yusuf Harun. Doc, thank you for joining us. We're recording more fatalities from cholera, and it's actually still raining. What should we know about the disease, and uh, what symptoms should people look out for and be worried about? Thank you very much for having me again. What we should know about this disease is that it is caused by a bacteria called Vibrio cholerae. And this bacteria can be transmitted through contaminated water, especially fecal matters in the water. Human is the main vector of this. That is, it could be transmitted from one human to another through contaminated water. Also, house flies can transmit the cholera, but human is the main factor. And about the mortality, which you asked, the death rate, about 10 people have died recorded in Enugu State Ministry of Health. And most of these deaths are due to severe dehydration. So it is surprising that it's not the bacteria itself that causes the death, but the dehydration. They are losing fluid from vomiting, diarrhea. So they go into shock. We call it hypovolemic shock. After the shock, they could develop severe renal failure or kidney failure. They could go into coma and finally death. So cholera has gone to a high rate in Nigeria. The Nigerian Center for Disease Control, headed by my mentor, Dr. Jide Idris, has said that the cholera has risen to over 220% in 2024 in Nigeria, between April 2024 to October of this year. All right, Doc. So when people notice, you know, these symptoms that you've listed, what should we do next? And then also talk to us about this uh, IPC, the infection prevention and control measures that people can actually adopt. Yes, the first thing you have to do to prevent is wash your hands with soap and water after using the bathroom because it is fecal oral in transmission. So washing your hand is very, very important. Secondly, wash your hands before and after you cook. Before you cook anything, wash your hands. Thirdly is that distance a latrine, pit latrines. Make it at least 30 meters from an eatery, either a restaurant or a kitchen or somewhere where people cook food because it could be transmitted also. And most importantly, health education and regulation. The government has tried to pr pr provide what we call water sanitation and hygiene intervention, called WASH right. intervention. All right. Also, we have national technique program. All these are intervention and modes used to prevent cholera in our society. All right, so health education, personal hygiene, finally, prevention of open defecation, which many people do in this country. You see some people defecating on the streets, defecating too close to a river or water, defecating even in a bush. All these are high risk factors. When there All is right. flood, like what happened in Borno State, when there is heavy rainfall, as happens in Lagos State, and what is happening in Enugu State, there is a high risk of contamination All right, from Doc. cholera. Thank you very much for enlightening us on this. Dr. Yusuf Harun is founder of Love for Health Organization. Thank you for talking to us on TVC News at 7.